Hi friends, thanks for joining me tonight. Tonight we're gonna do a cute two color design on the Scan and Cut um, from this design that I found on Etsy. It's super cute, it's not an affiliate link but I will put a link down there so you can find it too. Let's see, <laughs> the black is glossy but the red is not but I wish I could show you how nice it looks. It just doesn't get that good of a focus. Oh, doesn't my thumbnail gross? <laughs> Anyways, so it turned out really cute on this one, but the video I made for it did not turn out cute at all. So we're trying it again um, with a three. This one was a three to six month, and we're bumping it up to a six to 12 months so she can have two of these. This is for my cousin who's having her first baby, and their whole theme is farm. Their whole life is farm. So I'm really excited to give these to her. All right, so let's just get started. All right, I'm gonna zoom you in to the screen. I wish it would zoom in closer. Oh, my wish was granted. <laughs> I love that. Okay, so here we're going to choose Retrieve Data because I've already sent it over in um, Skin and Cut Canvas. So it should be right here. It's going to be all one design that's black. And so we have to manipulate it, it to be where we can cut them separately. It took me a lot of figuring out to figure this out. Because <laughs> I don't know if you know, I kind of just bump through things. Okay, anyways... Um, okay, so from here, what we're going to do is we're going to go to edit and we're going to go up here to the select button. We're going to choose select all, click OK, click OK, we edit, sorry, object edit, and then right here we're going to make it all one thing. Then we're going to go up here to duplicate, make two of them. Oh, wait, let's delete that, click OK, and I need to make it, a, oh wait, that's not what it's for. I need to make it just a little bit bigger because it's on a little bit bigger of a body. Dang it, Stephanie. I'm sorry, guys. Okay, so the width on this can actually be a little bit bigger. Um, it can be up to six, but we're going to make it five. Yeah, maybe no, five will be good. Okay, now we can go in, go up here, duplicate it, choose OK. And let's move this down here where we know the red is and keep this up here where we know the black is. Now we're going to go in here, we're going to ungroup it. Click down here, ungroup it, just click out anywhere. And now what we're going to do from here, can you still see it? Okay, good. Oh, sorry with the bumping. Okay, so from here, we're going to go ahead and delete everything that's red off of this. So let's just choose OK, go to Delete, choose OK. I already know which ones are red because I've been doing this so much, but I had to have my, um, my computer up and looking at the design to make sure that I was getting all the right pieces. Okay, so everything that's left should be the black pieces. And then down here, we're going to get rid of everything that is the black pieces. Click over here. It's just going to the ones I need. That's kind of cool. Okay, so everything else will cut out red. This is really cool. And now we're going to scan in our mat to make sure that we are placing everything perfectly. Click Start. Okay, so if we click on any of these, can you still see? Okay, if we click on any of these and move it at all, it's going to ruin everything because remember we ungrouped everything. So what we want to do in here, well, let's just, 
it's just HTV. I'm trying to be extra space saving, but let's just cut it out. Okay, we're going to go to please select cut. And we're going to go in here to our tools. And you want to make sure that you have your half cut on because we don't want it to cut all the way through the plastic and um, the plastic part. I don't have any. Okay. Well, the plastic shiny part right here. Let's see. Can you see it? The plastic shiny part. It, um, that's the part that you need to protect the design from the iron. And it's also the transfer tape. So we're going to, um, you have to keep it on half cut pressure, but the auto blade for me didn't seem to cut deep enough. I needed to bump up my pressure for the half cut to four. That worked perfectly. My speed is at number three and that seems to be a good speed. I'm going to choose okay and I'm going to choose start. Oh my goodness. Of course it did that. <laughs> So to reiterate, my you have to have it on half cut pressure to do this, and then also um, you might need to bump up your cut pressure on the half cut to four or even five, or you might not need to do it at all. That's just what I had to do. I just love this design. It's so cute. I will put a link in the description for where I found it on Etsy. Okay, I'm gonna let this cut out and then I will be back with you guys once I have it all weeded out, okay? All right, so we got it weeded. Here is the dark parts, the black parts, and this is the red part. And you can do these any color you want. I'm just going by the design because this is exactly what I was looking for. A cute vintage um, tractor design. Okay, so it's gonna go like this. A little bit like where this is a little offset to that. And then making sure that this can, this is supposed to be touching this, but not the tires. So I can't get it done because it's so sticky. But I'm just trying to kind of give you an idea. I'm gonna do the red first. And then I'm going to do the black. Oh, but first I need to get the placement on this so I can... Okay. There we go. Just had to set it down. And then we're going to go ahead and fold it in half, but only crease it at the top and at the bottom. Make sure you're getting top and the bottom of both the pieces. I cut my red piece a little small. Okay, make sure that the thing is all ready and heated up. So judging from my creases, I'm going to go up here to the gildan part and I'm going to bring this down. And that's going to give me, <clears throat> excuse me, my spot for the red part of the tractor. I'm sorry that the angle is like this. If I put you guys up on the table, every bump I make, you will, it will make the camera shift. So, okay. So from here, we're going to put parchment paper over it. I have the Cricut Easy Press set at 350 degrees for 20 seconds. And I'm going to give it some medium pressure. I'm not going to hurt myself, but I'm going to, you know, kind of lean on it a little. We've got about 10 seconds left, and then we're going to let it um, cool off before we peel it. I like to peel it when it's hot, but that, I'm learning, is not giving me the best um, results. Whenever I peel it, a lot of the times I have to do it over and over and over and over again until it sticks. But if I just let it cool off, it's really easy to peel. This was my trial for it on an old dirty sock. And, um, and it turned out really nice. Stuff is pretty stretch. I mean, it, this stuff itself isn't stretchy, but it stretches with your stuff. 
I don't know how to explain that and I hope that was a good explanation but I waited until it cooled to peel this off but I, I, I usually go over it again um, even after I've peeled off the the clear but I didn't do it on that and part of the star is sticking up I don't know if you can see that very well so let's let's feel this and see how it's doing still very warm let's lift it up and maybe move it down where there wasn't any heat okay oh in the meantime I can show you guys what I'm using um, what did I do with that other piece okay so the black stuff is Caesar Easy Weed heat transfer vinyl, and I'll put a link for that in the description. Um, it'll be an Amazon affiliate link, but you can just go on to Amazon and search for that as well if you don't want to go through the affiliate. That's understandable too. And then the red is the first time I've ever done Cricut HTV, and I'm really impressed with it. It's really pretty and looks really good. Um, it's Strong Bond. Everyday Iron On Cricut Knits in Red. You get 12 inches by 24 inches, and I got this at Walmart for $9, I think. And I know that that's really pricey, but I really wanted to do this project for my cousin. And sometimes it's just worth it. Okay, so this has cooled off. And if you're still here through all my jibber jabbering, thank you. Ah! Oh! <laughs> Look at that. It did not want to stay. I was so certain that this was going to be okay. It was going to work this time. Letting it cool. Alright, let's try this again. On the website for Caesar Easy Weed, it says to do this at the 305 degrees Fahrenheit. And that was almost too, it was practically cold on this. It didn't seem to do anything at all. So I bumped it up to 350. And that worked with the other, other um, trials that I did. So I don't understand what's going on here. No. It's definitely not the parchment paper because this is hot. I can probably pull all that stuff, but I'm pushing it. Pushing it, pushing it. Maybe it needs to be on for 30 seconds. Oh my gosh, I didn't mean the, for this to turn into a trial and error for you guys. Go ahead and skip forward to the end if you don't want to sit through this. I'm really sorry. But on the same note, I'm not going to delete it from the video because if this happens to you, one thing you don't have to feel like you're alone and like you're a big loser and don't know what you're doing and two hopefully learn from my mistakes let's try it without the parchment the parchment shouldn't be the issue but I'm going to try Sin's tip of turning it inside out if this still doesn't work. I don't understand why it worked last time and now it's not going to work. But whatever. Oh look, I did mess it up. Gosh, I hope they don't notice. Alright. Maybe not turn it inside out, but at least try to go through it from the back. I'm not going to hold that anymore. That hurts. <laughs> this is part of the thing that makes being a YouTuber hard is sometimes we're doing the same video over and over again and get different results each time. And it's so annoying. And, you know, I, I deleted in the entire video for the last one I deleted because it took me so long. And then whenever I did all my tests, 
and let them cool, everything worked perfectly. So I assumed that I was just not letting them sit long enough. Well, I'm going to keep working on this and actually be back. I don't want you guys having to sit through all of this. I'll be right back. Oh, hey, you guys. I got it on there. Don't ask me how. It just finally worked. I let it cool. I didn't move it to a cool spot. I let it cool in its heated spot. So that might be the tip. We're about to find out when we do the second layer. And this is the first time I've ever, tonight has been the first time I've ever done a two color design with HTV and oh my gosh, it's so much fun. They're so cute. Okay, sorry about my shadow in my hands, but what we're going to do is just place this right over here. We know we want this part of the stack to be a little bit forward and that's going to let us put our um, steering wheel, our seat and then our tires in all the right spots. Okay. Now I did do this for 40 seconds and then let it sit in its hot spot. Okay, one more time. Hope you guys are doing good. Thanks for watching. How many of you are planning on joining the cruise this May? I haven't heard really a whole lot about it from anybody, but I know that it's filling up. So let me know. Let me know if you're coming. If you don't know what I'm talking about, go to craftcruise.com and it's this whole awesome cruise that Eve from Baby's Booty set up for us all to go and do crafting together. And it's on like the Carnival Liberty and we're going to the Bahamas. It's amazing. I'm so excited. Okay, so we're going to let this cool on here and then come and peel it off. And if it doesn't peel off, I'm going to monkey with it and blah, blah, blah. But I'll be back whenever... It I have this part peeled off <laughs> I'll let you know what my my method was and then we'll be all finished with it and it's so cute all right see you guys in a sec okay guys I let it dry in place I didn't try to force it cooling and I think that might just be the magic oh maybe I'm hoping too soon because it looks like that steering wheel's coming with some of these pieces don't want to let go Okay, it's all off, and even though that's a little rumpled, rumpled, whatever, <laughs> is that even the right word? Even though it's a little, looks a little messy, smooth it out a little bit, we're going to put the parchment on there, and we're going to get that on there nice and good. Again for 350 for 40 seconds. I'm so pleased with how this turned out. The video for the smaller one, the reason why I deleted it is because I kept trying to peel it while it was hot and I was ruining it and oh my gosh, I was losing my mind. <laughs> all right. So now it's all on there nice and crisp and clean and the shirt is really hot. I'm going to go ahead and turn it inside out. It's actually a onesie. I don't know if you can tell or if I said that. Let's turn it inside out. Thanks to our tip from our great friend Sin. Here we go. Okay, so the key is to leave it in place while it's cooling off, I think. 
it doesn't seem to be the pressure too much or the heat. well maybe it is the heat too but um, 350 degrees is looks like it's great for um, both Caesar Easy Weed as well as the Cricut Cricut vinyl. Okay, guys, it's all done. It's so cute. So you can see that the the Easy Weed is a little glossy. You can tell that it's melted into the stuff. The red is kind of harder to tell because it's not glossy, but it is melted. And look right there, you can see where I, I messed up. Like I said, hopefully they don't notice. And if they do, they'll just know it's homemade from Cousin Steffi. Okay, guys, I will put the um, link to this in the description and also link a bunch of other stuff. <laughs> Have a good night, you guys. Bye.